Hey, John Samez from simpleprogrammer.com. I'm recording this video again because I just realized that uh, my finger was over this, the uh, microphone on my iPad mini when I was holding my iPad, so I have to be careful how I hold this thing after, rec after I recorded about a 10 minute video. So, and you really couldn't hear me at all. So, <laughs> but uh, anyway, I got this email that I thought was pretty interesting. I, I send out uh, an email uh, every week on my email list uh, and I sent an email on discipline, basically talking about how important discipline is, uh, how important it is in my life, and how I think it's just really important to develop discipline if you're going to be successful. And, uh, and I got a couple of responses back from that. Uh, by the way, if you're not subscribed to my email list, you can go to simpleprogrammer.com, basically pick any blog post, and at the bottom there'll be a sign up, and you can sign up for that. I send a, a weekly email that has a, a lot of good information, uh, different collection of different things. Uh, it's sort of a casual-ish kind of email, so the, the topic is, it's usually some kind of motivational uh, or, or helpful topic, but, uh, but it could be, could be anything. Anyway, um, I, I sent this one email on discipline, and I got back basically this question, and I'll kind of paraphrase it because it's a bit long, but basically uh, Joe was wanting to know uh, what, uh, you know, with, with the discipline, he said that basically he uh, had been su somewhat successful at it, yeah, he had kind of figured out the things that were, uh, you know, helping him to be more disciplined, and that was good, but he would basically have some downtime or take some downtime when he's working hard and he noticed that he would lose momentum and uh and you know but he, he couldn't figure out how to how to fix that problem and then also he had mentioned that the other thing they were struggling with was vision basically uh you know when he has a vision he's very disciplined it's easy to be disciplined but when he doesn't have a vision when he doesn't have a goal in in mind that uh that it's it's easy to it's hard to be disciplined. It's easy to lose that discipline. And so he wanted to know how I handled the, the vision aspect and, and what I did when I didn't have a vision. So, so let's first address the, the uh, issue with, uh, with taking downtime. So, you know, this isn't going to be a very popular answer to this, but I have found that it is true that what happens is uh, you have a certain momentum when you're working, working, working. And when you take downtime, you lose that momentum. And uh, you know you try to reward yourself for working so hard by taking some downtime, doing something that you like to do, and then uh, you don't feel like going back to the work. And that uh, that happens to me. It happens to a lot of people. If you've ever you know had a three-day vacation or four-day uh, weekend, you know one of those type of deals, you try to go back to work. You know, right before it, it seems like right before that four-day uh, weekend, right, you're very psyched up. You know, you're you're just in the zone, getting your work done. But by the time you get back, you've lost it all. You don't even feel like working anymore. And so, it would have been better if you could have just worked through that whole weekend. You'd have gotten a whole bunch done and then taken a break afterwards. Um, what that is is it's momentum, right? Because when you, it's a short week. You know that you need to bust butt so you don't goof around and you you get work done and you're you know you're looking forward to that weekend and uh, and that helps you build up a lot of momentum so the the answer to this really is that there there's no easy way around this uh, what what i advise what i try to do myself is uh, i basically try to uh, go with the momentum and so i want to either be in work mode or play mode right I don't I don't try to mix the two as much as possible right so um, now you might not have the flexible schedule to necessarily do that like if you're working a nine-to-five job like most people are uh, what you probably will have to do is switch between uh, you know you, you're not, you're not gonna be able to take a huge amount of time off of your job so you'll have to basically uh, you know, switch your your uh, work on your side projects and things like that to uh, to either be in work mode or not. So, for example, you might work really, really hard and, and spend, uh, you know, 40 hours at your regular job, 20 hours working on a side project and, and you know, whatever uh, thing that you're trying to pursue. And then you might do that for like four or five months or some period of time. And then you stop doing that uh, for like a month or two and take a break. Now, uh, you know, what I do... Uh, 
because I, I, I work for myself is I obviously, you know, I'll work for a good eight to ten months and take a break or, you know, or I'll take three months of working and then a couple of weeks off. Uh, right now, I've been basically working pretty much this whole whole year uh, so far, and uh, and I'm basically taking uh, two months off, and, and that's why I'm in I'm in Maui right now. <laughs> but uh, but I'm basically not working. I mean, I'm recording some videos, doing some blog posts, but I'm not working on any on any major projects. I'm not uh, doing um, any kind of consulting work really right now. So I'm basically in uh, in, in non work mode. And I'm going to do that, uh, you know, for for two months. So, th the reason for that is again because of that momentum, right? If you go, uh, if you're in work mode and you try to switch to non-work mode, you lose the momentum. And then if you switch back again, uh, you you lose the momentum, whichever way that you go. So, uh, let's see. So then the the next thing is the the whole vision idea. So, um, basically you have to have a vision right you have to know what you're trying to do otherwise you're not going to be very successful at it you're not going to have discipline so when you feel like you don't have a vision what you really need to do is to stop and plan start uh, you know don't keep working don't keep on going right uh, you, there's this temptation to do things because they're good or they or do what you think is good uh, and without a, a real focus on what you're trying to accomplish so for example uh, how many times you hear oh I'm trying to eat healthy or I'm, I'm gonna try and work out more right that's that's a uh, basically failure right waiting to happen you're not going to eat healthy you're not going to work out more once you have a solid goal or plan of what you're going to do so if you want to be disciplined you're going to have to come up with the plan so anytime you're in that mode where you're just trying to do you know what you think will be good or beneficial stop uh, take some time basically go into what I call CEO mode put on the CEO hat and and think about uh, from a from a strategic point of view what you want to accomplish come up with some goals come up with a long-term plan um, you should always know what you're going to do tomorrow if you don't know what you're going to do tomorrow as far as work goes uh, you've got a problem right you should even know what you're going to do a week in advance and you should know kind of what your vision is for the month or you know what's your bigger project so if you don't know those things uh, don't don't you know you have this temptation to keep on working but don't stop working uh, go and and figure those things out plan it out and then go into worker B mode so you you wear that CEO hat you plan the thing out you know it might be a long-term plan of three months uh, kind of shorter one month and then a, a, a one week or even at the beginning of the day you might have a, a quick plan for that day but once you have the plan then you go into worker mode and you don't question the plan you just execute the plan and you can reevaluate when you're done you don't want to constantly be questioning yourself constantly reaffirming your vision or recreating uh, it as you go otherwise you're just not going to get anything done and you're not going to have discipline uh, you know for example I set the sort of the goal last year of creating 30 Pluralsight courses, 30 online courses for developers uh, for, for Pluralsight. And I had a very clear vision of what I needed to do. I knew every week how many modules in the courses I needed to get done. I planned that out ahead of time. I knew what modules I was working on, what courses ahead of time, and what I needed to study and do. And I basically just executed, executed, executed the plan. And, and I was able to do it in a very disciplined fashion because I knew exactly what I was supposed to do. So definitely make sure that you have that vision, that you know what the plan is. Otherwise, you're, you're basically just going to be uh, spinning your wheels. You have to have a course and direction. I have to remind myself of this a lot of times because I'll just start working for work's sake, trying to uh, accomplish things, but without a, a clear vision. It just um, it never amounts to too much, right? You ha you just have to have that plan. Um, that's why I also try to have one major big project that I'm working on at a time that is uh, that I'm making uh, that I know where I'm going with that instead of working on multiple ones and switching between them. So to sum it all up, basically, you know, as as far as the discipline goes, uh, try not to switch between work and play too often. I know this is advice that most people don't like to hear, but the honest truth is if you want to be the most productive as possible it's not I'm not now again I'm not saying this is the easiest road to go it's not easy 
to work like a dog uh, without taking a break or taking minimal breaks, right? But that's going to give you the most momentum and productivity. But then you take a big break, right? You you use momentum to your advantage instead of constantly. If you, the more times you switch back and forth, the the more effort it's going to take to move that heavy ball in the opposite direction. If you think about rolling a heavy stone, and then you know you get on the other side of it and try to roll it the other direction. You've got to slow it down, stop it, right, and, and push in the other direction. And you're never going to get enough speed if you don't keep on going in one direction for a long enough time. And then again with a vision. Uh, you have to go some direction. So pick a direction to roll that stone. If you're just rolling it in random directions, again, is it's just not going to, chances are it's not going to go anywhere. So uh, hopefully that's helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you know, leave them below, send me an email. And, uh, and uh, if you uh, would like to get more videos like this, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.